I don't wanna. I know I don't wanna. Oh, oh boy. Oh, I know, I know. <sighs> I guess it's time to get up. What do you think? Time to get up? No? I'm going on an adventure? Wanna go fishing? You wanna, you wanna go fishing? I'll take that as a yes. That's how you start a day. Hello, all my fishing friends, and thank you so much for joining us for another Stay Fishy Adventure. Today, we're going the lengths that very few have gone. It's raining, it's the middle of winter, and we're packing everything we need for two days into the raft and floating down the river. Some out there may call us crazy, some may call us just plain stupid, but as my man Forrest Gump always said, stupid is as stupid does. So let's do this. So today we're rafting and camping in the Pacific Northwest. And being that the case, everything is relative to the weather conditions. Hi, mister. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Oh, Jesus, Louise. <laughs> Hi. Anyways, Ooga, is that what you got to say? Is that what you have to say to the world? Anyways, everything in the Pacific Northwest is relative to the weather conditions, and today we had super high water, super gnarly weather, but we'd had this trip on the books to go out and do, and we were sending it anyways. We are officially underway. There's no turning back now, even if we wanted to. Again, I'm gonna reference the conditions out here. The river is super, super high. We've had a lot of high water events, a lot of, a lot of snow, followed by a lot of warm weather in the last few weeks here in the Pacific Northwest. So all of our rivers are extremely swollen. And we, I picked one that is one, my favorite river, and two, the best option for the conditions that we have. But one thing's for certain, there is gonna be some massive rapids along the next two days, and hopefully some massive steelhead. There's hatchery fish and there's wild fish in this system. Hold on everybody, I got a row. We got a iceberg ahead. So the plan for today was to get in the boat, get everything loaded, head to camp, get camp set up, and then go and do a little fishing. But of course, that never happened. All right, we made it to the bank, crisis averted. Our main target species here today is the infamous and almighty winter steelhead. There is quite a few fish in the river, but it's gonna be a lot of water for me to fish alone. So we're gonna give it a shot, then we're gonna haul ass down to camp, get set up, and get this party really started. This is looking good, everybody. This is a fishy situation. What was that? Fish, fish, fish. Oh God, it's on. It's on everybody. 
I had just gone through that spot and my bobber went down the first time. I reeled on it, set hook, nothing behind it. Made the exact same cast. And this time he was just munching, just munching his grindage. I reeled up, there he was. I thought it was a small fish to begin with, but this is a beautiful steelhead on the end of the line here. Oh God, I don't want to mess this up everybody. Second hole of the day. We got a late start this afternoon because again, the goal is to get down and find a nice camp, have a great evening, do some cooking, maybe a little kumbaya, but this is an epic start. Whew. Okay, okay, oh no, no, uh-uh, don't shake your head like that. Oh God, this fish has a mind of his own. He's got a plan and he's sticking to it. He's working his way back out to the middle here. Shh, Little's excited everybody. Little is pumped. Little loves fish more than life itself. I just, oh God, there he goes, there he goes. Oh God. This fish has charisma. Yeah, baby. There we go, there we go. Now, we, now we're talking. Now we're working with him. So because I have so much water pushing down, there's so much force in the river itself, these fish can kind of act like a planer board and they'll just turn their body, push out into the current, and it can be extremely hard to bring them back up river. So I'm gonna keep my tip nice and low and just slowly walk him back up to me, kind of make him think that he's not even hooked. Everything's cool, everything's fine. Just wanna shake hands with you, Mr. Fish. Here we go, here we go, now we're talking. Now we're talking, let's get our first look here. Oh, what a beauty. What a flipping beauty. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. My fishy friends, look what we have. This is what we came for, everyone. Woo! This is living. Yeah. Come to Papa. What a beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. We may not get hands on him. Oh God, I don't like this. Oh God, oh God. I don't know what to do with my hands here, everybody. Just gonna ease him in, ease him in. Nobody panic, everybody stay calm, nobody panic. Oh, he is just pinned in the side of the mouth with that addicted hook. Come on, come to Papa. Now this is a wild winter steelhead. So these things are very special creatures. They're one of the only salmonoid creatures that can go back and forth and spawn multiple times in their life. So it's very imperative to take extremely good care of these things. We don't want to remove them from the water. We want to try to keep him breathing the whole time, keep his gills in the water, and just have a quick little handshake with him. Wow. There it is. Wow. What a special moment. We, oh my God, everyone. How lucky are we? Mother nature blessed us with the creature of all creatures. Look at that. One of my very favorite fish in the world. I wanna see some comments below. Everybody out there watching, what is your very favorite fish to see or touch or catch or chase? This is mine right here, the winter steelhead. Here on State Fishy, we're gonna be traveling the world and fishing for all different kinds of species, but we will always come home and come back to the almighty steelhead here. We're gonna let him swim away. Look at those beautiful spots on his back. Every one of these things is so unique and special in their own way. And he's going home. Yee! Oh, what a good day. <sighs> well, that just doesn't happen, everybody. Second cast, second hole of the day, and I have one of the most elusive creatures in the Northwest on my line and to the bank. Such a blessing. I think it's time we go find camp now. Just kidding, of course we had to stop again. I'm thinking it's gonna go down right about there. Yep, fish on. Oh God, oh God, oh God. That was a three, two, one if I ever seen it. Oh, 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 he threw it. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna ask if you guys saw that because I know you saw it. Yeah. If that don't get your blood pumping, you ain't breathing. Fishy friends, I wanna see some comments below on what you just thought about that. I'm speechless. I better cast one more time, everyone. That was on the first cast. It nearly just hit the water, floated about 10 feet, and kaplooey. Yep, fish on. 
Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh! Oh! Oh, he threw it! <laughs> Let's see if this one makes it any further. Okay, ready? We're gonna go three, two, one. Another fish. Wow, okay, we didn't get him on the third cast. <sighs> Again, I'm speechless, everybody. I don't even know what to say. That just doesn't happen. Is this real life? Or am I dreaming? Somebody pinch me. There he is, fish, fish, fish. There he goes, oh my God, he's on the run. He's on the run. He's a wanted man. He's a wanted man. Oh my God. Oh, he's trying to spool me. He's trying to spool me and it's working. He, oh, he's migrating now, he's migrating. Little. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I am almost spooled. I got nowhere to go. I'm stuck on this rock here. I'm on my island. I'm the castaway. I'm gonna see if I can get it behind this big boulder here. Fishy friends, I might have to run for it here. I don't know what to do, but this is a massive steelhead. He's got me completely at the very end of this run. Oh, I see him splashing. Let's see if I can walk him around here. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I am so screwed. Oh, but he's way down there now. Oh God. I still got backing. I'm still in the fight, guys. I'm still in the game. He's got me hung up on this rock. Easy, easy. No, you don't want to do that, I promise. It's scary down there. It's really scary down there. No, don't do that. I'm gonna run out of line here pretty quick, Attic. My glasses are all fogged up. This fish is going 20. Oh God. I'm right there. I'm almost out of line. We're gonna have to go for it. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know what to do here. This is a sketchy situation. I should not be this deep in the water right now. Oh God, see what I mean? Now that I've come down here, he's just getting more running room. I'm gonna give up too much area here. He's gonna get down around this corner and we won't stand a chance on him. But this thing is massive. He's right there. I'm gonna have to trick him here. This is a, this is a game of wit. This is a chess game of sorts with this fish. This is a game of wit, strategy, and persistence. Oh, he's got me around that rock out there. Crap, what am I gonna do here, everybody? I really don't wanna let this fish go. I'm gonna have to send it out there. Sean, put this in your pocket. In this. This is not safe, everybody. This is not cool. But I don't have another option. Let's see. This would be a lot cooler if I wasn't camping tonight. So if I fall and get really wet, I'm gonna be wet the rest of the night. These are the sacrifices that we make. Got it. Got it. Okay. See if I can get back to the bank here. Oh, this is not good. I still have line though. We're good. We're looking good there. Oh, wow. What a battle. This thing is already down around this corner. I do not know what's going on here. He's in about nine different places. I'm getting a lot of line back. This is the most line I've had this entire fight. I am really worried about letting this thing get any further down. I'm gonna have to go. Oh man, he's kicking my butt. Oh. I'm getting so tired. Everybody, I'm getting whooped here. Uh oh, he's got me hung up on something again. I can feel it. Okay, he's right behind that rock. I like this. I like where we're at here. Oh God, he's right there. This is the final moments, everybody. Is it gonna happen? The final moments. 
This is it. This is my chance. I have nowhere I can actually bend my rod and control this fish. No! He just came off. After all that, everybody, after all that, we were a rod's length away. I could see his tail. I'm going to see if I can grab him. If there ever was a story about the one that got away, wow. I'm shaking, I'm sweating, I am exhausted. But that's okay. That right there, everybody, if you're not a fisherman, if you've never fished in your life, that is a prime example of why fishermen fish. For the, even, if, even though we didn't put hands on that fish, that battle, the story that came out of that whole fight, and just the determination to chase that thing down and do everything we could to try to land it, goes to show you the dedication that fishermen have to fishing. Wow. What do you guys think? It's time to go to camp. So as we come floating into camp tonight, I am absolutely tickled with how the afternoon has gone. What an incredible day of steelhead fishing. Let's get the camp set up, let's get some food going, and let's get some drinks in our bellies. Oh, Sean's on. First cast. <laughs> Should have, we should have actually made a real bet, dude. I said I get, I put money on the fact if you get one first cast of the bead. The witching hour, dude. It's upon us. Can't fish. Can't fish. First cast. Well, the time has come to fill our bellies and re-energize for tomorrow. I brought a couple of options for tonight's dinner and we decided on steak, real rough life out here. Tomorrow, I have a really exquisite plan. I wanna do something that I've been researching and checking out on YouTube quite a bit lately and it's a specific method of cooking and it's called an earth oven. And do my best to make the first ever earth oven river pizza for lunch so super stoked on that honestly i can't wait to wake up and make another cast today was a day of all days truly epic to all standards many people could fish their entire life or still had to never get to encounter a day like today and to be sitting by the fire sleeping outside listening to tunes and enjoying a beer to end off the day couldn't be any better Sleeping bag. Got my pup right here. Got the sound of the river over yonder. This is living. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh. Night, everybody. Oh, come on, little. Come on. Mern. Ah, 
What a glorious morning, everybody. It wasn't too cold last night, slept really good. Actually woke up with a really bad migraine. I had to go splash my face in the water a few times, but we made it through. We're still alive. And today is gonna be incredible. So let's get this oven built and let's get some breakfast pizza going. So I think the way I'm gonna start with this, I already have a pretty good little layer of rocks. I'm just gonna recycle my fire pit here from last night. But what I'm gonna have to do is kind of like building a cold smoke. Um, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's like a smoking method where you build a fire over here and you pipe it to a little a little smokehouse and you can smoke meat or fish or whatever else. But I'm basically making this little igloo shape over this. I'm gonna dig this little trench out in between and then I'm gonna make this little igloo shape in the rocks and that's what I'm gonna make my fire in. And then when I'm when that fire burns down and it's just cold, I'm gonna just stick my, my pan with my pepperoni pizza that's about to be made over there into it. So let's get this thing going. I'm gonna dig myself out a little form there, just wide enough. Okay. I'm just going to save this stuff here. I'm going to fill my hole back in. This is not, not something you want to do is just go around to rivers and in nice spots and dig big holes. So be sure to fill your hole back in if you guys ever try this. But I picked this spot because I knew it was going to be sandy like this. So. This is working out perfect, it's super easy digging. Sweet. Okay, so if I need to, I can dig down further here, but now is the hard part. Now we have to figure out how to stack all these rocks. I'm gonna try to get these things nice and close to the edge here. That way my, my form can be a little bit smaller. So this is gonna be a game of balance, I can already tell. I have to try to make this form, again, this, this form of, of rocks here, and then have it support itself as well. So again, this is just something I saw online, you guys. Um, so I wanted to try it though. It looked really interesting, it looked really fun. If we can get it done, I think we're gonna make ourselves a really good meal. We need more rocks. Okay, should be enough for now. I'm trying to get a variety of sizes so that I can use these small ones to like, you know, wedge in between these rocks to kind of keep a structure to it here. So I think I'm gonna have to make a little door going across here. That's only about as big as I need it. I'm only using that 12 inch pan, so that should work. Well, I'm standing back here observing <laughs> I'm trying to figure out exactly how we're going to make this dome without having this thing collapse. I'm going to have some strategy to it. And then old cameraman Sean rings off, why don't we use our barbecue grate that we cook the steaks on? And I said, genius. <sighs> Coffee break number two. Second evaluation, looks freaking great. Look at this little structure we got. It looks perfect, it's gonna work, but I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go get one of these big blankets of moss off of one of these trees and just lay it over the top and seal it up and I think we'll be ready to cook. This piece looks perfect. It's not on an old living, living tree at all. This thing's all dead and rotten, so we're not hurting anything. Just get a big armful of that. Oh, wow. That's a Straight up trophy of a piece. Look at that. Hold it out like a steelhead. All I'm gonna do is just drape that right over it, just like that. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. That's like real, real nice. Oh, that's cool. Look at my, my furnage too. I got furnage, everybody. We're furnished hard. We call it Fern Gully. We'll name this camp Fern Gully. <laughs> I better put this piece of moss up there. Right there. Just a little back patch. Perfect. There it is, everyone. The earth oven. <laughs> All right. 
time to get the oven turned on. Turn it up to a, a 375. We're gonna go for about 25 minutes for a deep dish pan crust. It's got my pitch wood here. If you guys have never tried to use this stuff, it's, you can buy it or you can find it in the woods. But what it's from is from a stump of an old growth ponderosa pine that's either been logged or cut down. It's where all that pitch and all that sap has been stored over the years. And it burns really, really easily. I don't even have to use any paper or anything here. I'll just light each individual piece on fire. So my idea here is I'm gonna get a good fire going in there, get it nice and hot, and then I'm gonna let it die. And I'm gonna use just the coal. So what I'm gonna do is once I do get that fire burnt down and I have that nice base of coals in there, I'm gonna go find another piece of moss so I can actually close the oven door and I'll make my pizza then after that. So I'll get the fire going, I'll get it ripping, I'll get it warm, make my pizza, and then I'll add the pizza in there, put that other cover over and we should be cooking. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take. I'm actually really excited about this. This wasn't that hard to do and for the idea of being able to do this while you're out camping, it's kind of cool. It kind of opens, opens the door to making a lot of different dishes and I think I'm gonna be using this one a lot from here on out. Well, obviously the moss was getting a little hot. I figured it might do that. But all I did was just hung the moss back up for a second. I'm gonna heat up all these rocks, get my convection really good in there, make sure I have a lot of heat that's gonna just stay in there. And then when that fire kind of simmers down a little bit, I'll put that back on there and start heating up that moss too. But in the meantime, it's time to make a pizza. All right, so the pizza we're gonna make is kind of like a deep dish pizza hut style. I'm just gonna use this pan because it was one that I could easily put into the fire. But I'm just gonna butter up my pan here and make sure it doesn't stick. Get a nice layer in there. Make my crust nice and toasty. I like a good crust on a pizza. I probably only need about half or three quarters of this. <coughs> well, I'll come over here to spin my dough. No, I'm not that good at it. Kneading, kneading, we're kneading things, we're kneading the dough, kneading the dough. Just knead, knead, kneading the dough. Knead, knead, kneading the dough. So I'm gonna try to just get this thing fully spread out all the way across this pan. It's not working, Sean. Oh man. Oh man, it's going bad, this is going bad. How could it all come down to this? All right, next step is the pizza sauce. Now for the mozzarella. Last but not least, the pepperoni. There it is everybody. We'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. Truth, everybody. I think it's ready. We're out. Oh, look at that! Yes! Let's eat. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yes. Yum. Probably could have let it go just a little bit longer. What's really going on is the river's starting to come up, so I kind of rush it. Well, you can see that bottom's cooked perfect. It looks amazing. First ever river pizza, people. Here it is. Oh my God, it's amazing. Mmm. Magnifique. Mm. 
But anyways, back to what I was saying, is it's warming up outside and the snow is starting to melt in the higher elevations, so this river is shooting up. And we have a couple giant rapids to go through to get home today. So I'm starting to get a little worried. As that water comes up, the rapids get bigger and bigger. So I hurried the pizza a little bit, but it came out perfect. But after we munch this thing down, it's time to get in the raft and run some big water. Hi, right, you coming back for more? Hi, you. <laughs> So for those of you out there who are just tuning in to Stay Fishy and have never seen me or know who I am, here's a little history lesson on where I come from. I grew up in the Mount Hood region of Oregon State and whitewater and fishing have always been in my blood my entire life. I started my career out in guiding in the whitewater industry in Central Oregon and since have taken that love and gone to places all over the country and all over the world in search of that new excitement and that new experience in the whitewater community. As we start our descent here, we have a couple of very, very big rapids coming up. One's about a class three and one I'd say is a class four. And they're really the class four, the rating goes all the way up to six. So four is still of like an expert level. And these ones in particular have some very, very tight moves. Or if I miss them, it'll be very critical and it will not be good. I'll get sucked in these big giant recirculating holes. So let's see if we can do it. So it's always very smart before running any major rapid, anything over a class two, I, I'd say, especially during a high water event when the water is rising. There could be a lot of obstructions and a lot of structure moving down river, sticks, logs, branches, anything, anything that could either one, pop your raft or two, get you stuck and possibly kill you. And this rapid down here, you can see there's a lot of gradient drop. The river's moving fast and it just disappears. So I'm standing up here trying to scout a line. I can see down river, I can see there's one giant rock in the middle I do not want to hit or else I might either one, flip, or two, get stuck. I'm not supposed to say the four letter F word around the river. I didn't say that, rewind. But I'm gonna try to hug this thing far left, stay as far out of harm's way as I can because all this water looks like it funnels down into that main bank and then it shoots to the left and I don't know if I can pull hard enough to not get pushed up into that bank, so. Wish me luck, everybody. Let's do something crazy. About five years ago, I stepped through that threshold into this YouTube world and have found this love for creating content and bringing people along for the ride and showing you places that not many people in their lives get to see. What we've done on our other channel, Addicted Fishing, which there'll be links in the descriptions to that other channel, has inspired me to come out with the Stay Fishy channel so that I can take you guys along and show you a little bit more behind the scenes of the friends, the food, and the excitement that comes along with living this lifestyle and traveling the world to meet new people and find new experiences that inspire you. So for those of you that don't already know, we'll be posting videos on this channel every single Wednesday, four times a month. So there'll be a video every single week coming out where we're traveling the world and having new adventures with you right there on our side. So if you could everybody, please, please go down here, hit subscribe, turn those bell notifications on so you see every Wednesday when these videos come out. Hit those thumbs up so the world can see these and be sure to comment below and you could be the comment of the day just like this person right here. Thank you all so much for the support on this new channel and be ready for the next big adventure. You all stay fishy and we'll see you out there.